can you imagine? Look, now I can lay in it. Mm, it's so comfortable. I love my yard now. Exciting day, I'm here with Joe Caccino of BioGreen, and my yard is gonna start looking great. Joe, thanks for coming out with You're us. You're welcome, thank and you. And I'm excited about, what are we gonna to do today? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh, an, a fertilizer blend down, and it's gonna consist of a little bit of nitrogen, lots of micronutrients, and we're gonna get uh, these roots going. Your, your soil is pretty hard, so the roots are probably shallow. So we want to get these micronutrients into the soil, start driving the roots down deep so we can have some nice healthy grass. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to be putting down a pre-emergent weed control. And what that does is it will keep seeds from germinating from the weeds. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a period here where we're going to also do a post-emergent weed control on the weeds that have already come up through okay, the ground. Good. So we'll knock those out. We're going to keep the seeds from germinating, but we're still going to have those in-betweeners that have already germinated, but they haven't come up through the soil yet. So on our next application, those will probably be up. We'll get those out, and then you'll be uh -huh. weed-free until- But there are still the seeds that are being produced, I noticed. Absolutely, and that's what the pre-emergent does. Uh -huh. It'll keep those seeds from germinating. Good. So we're not gonna have germination on those. We're gonna kill the ones that have come up already, and then the ones that have germinated, but just haven't come up through the, uh, through the soil, we'll get those next time. On another treatment? On another treatment. So we get some fertilizer going, we get some weeds taken care of at this time get more weeds taken care of the next time. What else happens the next time? The next time will be another fertilization. We're gonna do fertilization. In fact, we're probably gonna do two fertilizations within a three week period. Oh, that's... Normally we just do it every six weeks, but uh, yours uh, needs to be a bit more attention. So, <laughs> I so understand. So we're gonna come out and throw some And I'm grateful, and I'm <laughs> grateful. I wanna get this thing looking good. I used to take a lot of pride. It used to be really thick and and I, I think there's a good chance with trimming the trees now and with you doing what you're doing, I, my hopes are high that we can get this thing thick again. Within a couple of months, you're, it's gonna be unbelievable how much different it's really? gonna look. My bio green yard. Can you imagine? Look, now I can lay in it. Mm, it's so comfortable. I love my yard now. And it, you've seen what it looks like before. Now it's just, it's lush, it's thick. No weeds. My dog loves it just like I do. Take a look. my yard it used to look like look how thick it is here look at that I knew I knew there was hope for it but I didn't know how just look at it look at it it's awesome let's go to the back and see it okay look at the backyard I mean it's just almost all completely filled in you can see the little spots where it's still growing in but we got a really good growing season in the spring. The first year I was a little late, so this is really just a little over a, a year. If it would have been two growing seasons in the spring, that would have been that would have been even better. But we got a little late start. So man, by the time this growing season is over and we're into the next one, it is going to be so strong, and that's what it's all about: the yard getting healthy and strong and building up all those nutrients that he puts in there regularly so that when there's a time to grow, it's all built up there. The activity is pent up energy, just ready to be spent. So I'm very, very happy with it. The dog is happy. He comes out and lays on here and just lounges on it. He loves to lounge in the grass. I kind of little, did a little imitation there of him, but I opened the gate and he ran out. So I'm gonna go get him right now. You enjoying the hot sun and the cool grass, huh? Yeah, that's what doggies need. Mm -hmm. 